want to thank some people who really helped us make this event possible. Uh, first of all, our state representatives and senators and governor to you for helping us get the supply that we needed and our dear friends at McLeod Health who have been just a great partner to work with us. <clears throat> I want to thank our Chamber of Commerce for providing lunch for the volunteers today and of course all of the volunteers who came out to help. We have such a large percentage of our residents who are age 65 and older and that is the value of an event like this. We have to get the vaccine to them and we have to do it quickly and easily and this event has allowed us to do just that. Our governor has truly shown that he cares about this area and our entire state. He has allowed us to stay open and to keep our economy going, but he has done so responsibly and safely. He understands the value of the coast. He listens to our needs, he responds quickly, and he always has time to answer our questions or to listen to our input. Ladies and gentlemen, when Governor McMaster talks about communication, collaboration, and cooperation, it is not mere words. He means it and he lives it. At this time, I would like to introduce Monica Vahey with McLeod Health and thank her for helping us put this event together today. Good afternoon. On behalf of McLeod Health, we appreciate our partnership with the city of Myrtle Beach and the Myrtle Beach Convention Center to make this today's event possible. McLeod Health is privileged to be acknowledged for our efficiency in delivering the COVID vaccine. We thank the governor and Mayor Bethune for their encouragement and confidence in our ability to collaborate with them to bring additional vaccine resources to the coast. We were pleased that these doses were made available to us from the federal pharmaceutical stockpile. As I approached the convention center early this, so this morning, I saw a road sign advertising the COVID vaccination event today. And honestly, it choked me up for a minute. I had to catch my breath. It is a true honor to be able to deliver an additional 5,000 vaccinated individuals to the Horry County roster today and tomorrow. Since Decem December, McLeod Health has administered more than 46,000 doses to people living throughout the 18 counties we serve from the Midlands to the coast. This underscores our mission to improve the health and well-being of the residents living in these communities. We want to acknowledge all the team members, clinical and non-clinical staff, as well as the volunteers who made our vaccination clinics possible. We could not serve our community without you. It's a meaningful difference that you make with every vaccine we administer. Every shot truly provides hope for us getting back to normal. For us at McLeod, this work is mission critical, but it is in addition to our daily work of caring for our patients who trust us with their care in addition to our fight against COVID that continues with ongoing COVID testing and infusion therapy treatments. We are committed to doing our part to keep our communities healthy and safe. In addition, next week, we will announce a dedicated vaccination clinic in Horry County to continue to serve our community and to those that were newly announced in phase 1B group today. We look forward to sharing more details with you next week. And at this time, I will introduce Dr. Matthew Weeks, our chief uh, medical officer. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Governor. And thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I say how proud uh, all of us at McLeod are for being asked and honored to be able to deliver um, 5,000 doses today and tomorrow, um, which is really helping our friends and neighbors to take one step uh, advance one step in combating this dreaded disease. Um, the Moderna vaccine that we uh, have administered today requires a second dose and every person who came here today has been given an appointment for 28 days from now to come right back here, Myrtle Beach Convention Center, to receive their second dose. And that is an essential part of achieving full protection and immunity. I do want to talk about how important the vigil and how vigilant we need to be for everyone, those who've received the dose as well as those who have not received doses, 
um, in all of the things we've been hearing about, um, hand washing, face covering, social distancing. Um, the vaccine does take time to have its full benefit, and I think it's really important that we all keep that in mind. I really want to thank the governor for a number of things. Um, one of them is um, announcing today the broadening. So the, the people who received the doses today were in group or, or phase 1A. Those were our sickest and most vulnerable population. Those that were the ones most at risk for dreaded complications from this and even death. By announcing today that that group has now been expanded, effective on Monday, that has been a tremendous um, broadening and uh, obviously will expand the pool of people eligible and hopefully protected against this. We do have um, an available clinic um, on Friday at the Motor Speedway. And um, again, thank you, Governor, for making an emergency authorization. He has broadened the eligibility for that to all of the people in Group 1B. And so anyone who uh, is eligible and is in Group 1B can go online, register for that event, and get their um, vaccine uh, at the um, Darlington Speedway on Friday. So hopefully people will take advantage of that as soon as possible. And finally, I want to thank uh, the hundreds of McLeod staff, volunteers, and our community partners. The feedback and just observing everything that went, happened today has just been phenomenal. And that was a tremendous effort that took many, many hours of planning and perfect execution. So thank you to everyone who has been a part of that. I also want to thank the community for giving us the honor to um, provide health care to them and the privilege to serve them. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, y'all, thank you for coming out, and, and uh, Doctor and Monica and uh, Mayor. It, this, is, this is what happens when you communicate, collaborate, and cooperate. And the times that I've been in a position to work with a number of people, it always works. It never fails. Anything you think you can do with yourself or a small group, when you broaden it out, you find out there's a lot of talent in South Carolina, and it is always willing to get together and work. Mayor Hatley, I know you agree as well. Uh, but we have great, the reason we have great success in South Carolina is we have, because we have great people. And if there's any doubt about that, go inside the room there, and there are a lot of people that have come from other places around the country, and they're all coming to South Carolina. And that goes for the businesses as well that I talk to that are looking to invest hundreds of millions of dollars. They always say the same thing. There are a lot of reasons to go to a place in order to invest money to risk your company's future. But they say the reason they come to South Carolina, the top reason, they say the three, the people, the people, the people. And so what you see going on here is the people, the people, the people working together to take care of each other. So I want to congratulate the, the city, uh, Mayor Bethune, McLeod Health, which is a great institution with, you say, 16, 16 counties, 13 counties, 18 counties, 18 counties and counting, I and presume. Counting. But that's the way you get it done. And we have a great team from which we're getting advice, guidance, and information every day on everything that we do like this around, around the state. And because of, of that understanding and the talent, we have moved the vaccination ages down very quickly. And originally, we were scheduled to get to those 75 and older, I think not yet. Uh, in several weeks, but we saw that that was where we needed to go. Those were recommendations by the CDC and others. But we saw with our team that we could do it differently and do it better and faster, we thought, in South Carolina. That's why we went to 70 and then to 65. And on Monday, as doctor, the doctor said, we're going to 55 years old. Because those are the people most subject the vote in the most danger of getting the, this deadly virus, and it is a deadly virus. And we're also adding to that those younger on down to 16 years of age who have these what they call comorbidities, and I'll, I'll go through those briefly uh, for you, for your information. That starts on March the 8th, which is Monday, except for the program over in Darlington where there, there are a lot of room for reservations over there right now. And it's going to be a, a quite a, a, a very well-organized event. But individuals 
55 and up are eligible come March, come March 8th, which is Monday, except in Darlington, which is going a little bit early, and individuals 16 to 74 who have conditions, high-risk medical conditions. That includes, but it's not limited to, you can find it on the DHEC website, cancer, chronic kidney disease, chronic lung, lung disease, diabetes, Down syndrome, heart disease, hypertension, HIV, AIDS, organ transplant, obesity, pregnancy, sickle cell disease, and others. And also included are persons with special needs who have developmental, physical, or other severe high-risk disabilities that makes developing a severe life-threatening illness or death from COVID more likely. And also included are frontline workers who perform a job in which they are at increased risk of exposure to the frequent, due to their frequent, close, and face-to-face -face contact with others in the work environment. And that will include, starting on Monday, K-12 and higher education, health care, child care, law enforcement, criminal justice, manufacturing, hospitality, transportation, service, agribusiness, retail, local, state, and federal government employees, group homes, and many others. And so those appointments and shots, if they can make an appointment, will be open to, the, to those groups and the earlier groups starting at 12.01 a.m. Monday morning, March 8th. So we have, we believe that by using common sense, the facts, the science, and getting information and guidance from people across the state, that we have developed what we believe is a, is a model program, and we are confident that it's working. But I'll end where I start. It's all because of the people. We have the people in our state who have the talent and are willing to work together for the good of, of everyone else in the state. So this is a good day for South Carolina. Again, thank you to Mayor Bethune, the city of, of Myrtle Beach, and McLeod Health for doing this, and all the volunteers. We have thousands of volunteers all across the state, and those are the ones that, that provide the, the horsepower for this. We have a National Guard involved all over the, the state, the Emergency Management Division that usually handles hurricanes and tornadoes and storms. They're involved. We have everyone involved sitting at the same table, getting the same information and making these decisions. And much of that information comes from you. So we thank you for that. And we look forward to more. And we look forward to uh, seeing more great progress in Myrtle Beach and through McLeod in your areas. Thank you.